Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to go over creating and centering a horizontal menu. Specifically centering one, which has come up a few times as questions in the uh, in the comments section. So, let's go ahead and start off here. I've got a plain unordered list uh, with anchor tags, hence making it a navigation menu. And the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and make it into a horizontal menu. And that's going to be pretty easy to do as long as we keep track of some key CSS rules that we're always going to have. I'm going to start off with a very basic reset rule, a CSS reset rule. And I will go ahead and uh, set all margins to zero and all padding to zero. And just take care of that first. And that little reset rule, of course, will get rid of my um, margins and padding for all elements. So it kind of squishes everything over there, which is what I wanted. Now for the horizontal navigation menu, I'm going to go ahead and say that my unordered list will have a list style type none. And I'll just go ahead and knock out a few of these here. My list items, let's see, I'll go ahead and set their width to be 120 pixels and their height will be um, 40 pixels. And I'll give them a little bit of margin too. I'll do margin um, zero pixels on the top and bottom and four pixels on the left and the right. Very critical step coming up here for our navigation menu, anchor tags. I want my anchor tags to, dis to display as block elements. I'm going to set their width to also be 120 pixels and their height to be 40 pixels. Now I'm going to do line height of 40 pixels which is the same height as the anchor tag itself. This will give us a vertical centering of our text. And let's see, I will go ahead and do a, a text decoration none. That's going to get rid of the underline effect. And I will do a text align center. And that's going to center the text within the anchors. Oh, and so that we can clearly see these, how about if I... Um, actually, let's head up to the list items and I will put a little bit of a border, two picks solid black, and a little bit of border radius above five pixels. So just that little effect there is going to get us some kind of curved corner bullets. I mean curved corner buttons. Now we just need to get these elements side by side and that's going to be pretty easy because whenever you want to get block elements side by side a really great way to do that is for these list items here is I will simply float them to the left and doing so will get them side by side. Notice there's a little spacing in there that's because of the margin that I put on the left and right of each list item. So now we have our horizontal navigation menu. We get to our very last skill which is basically how do you center this horizontal menu within the page or within the space. And centering is not tough as long as you're very aware of the actual shape of the item that you're centering. So I'm going to do a couple things to make this easier to look at. Let me head over and I'm going to create a quick rule for a headline one and I'm going to give it a little bit of margin bottom of 20 pixels and I'm going to do a text align center. This of course will center our headline and give us some space beneath it so now you can really focus on this unordered list this navigation menu. Now let's make sure we can visualize this navigation menu. I'm going to do a couple things here. I'm going to put a border two picks solid red on my unordered list and as soon as I do this you're going to have a very clear idea of where this is. Let me fix this for you real quick. I'm going to do another CSS property overflow hidden. This is helpful whenever whenever a container contains nothing but floating elements it'll allow us to better see it. So now that you can really see the unordered list is taking up the full width of the page even though the list items only take up a portion of the page this is going to affect our centering. I want my unordered list to be just bigger than the four list items it contains. So I know that my list items are what that 120 pixels each so that gets us to 246 so it's going to get us to 480 pixels so if my unordered list let's do a little trial and error here of width, I'll do, um, let's just do 500 pixels. That's going to be a bit wider. Don't forget, I have to account for margin space too. And by doing this, I got, I went a little bit too narrow. So I'll just make it a little bit bigger. How about, uh, look, I'm in the Price is Right game shows. Still not there. Of course, I should have just done the math, right? 
There we go. So about 530 pixels takes care of that unordered list. Now that we have our unordered list sized appropriately, centering is going to be a piece of cake. We just put a margin on an unordered list. I'll do zero pixels top and bottom, auto margins left and right. And that little auto margins left and right is going to get us our centered unordered list. Now it's going to be easy. I can get rid of that, uh, that red border since I don't need that anymore. And I am left with a centered horizontal navigation menu. Have fun.